Hello and welcome to the Electric Gas Monitor Site Sentinel Standalone System Product Overview. The goal of this video is to get you better acquainted with your Site Sentinel controller and its associated parts and options. Please note that you must fully read and understand your owner's manual. This is simply a guide to help you better understand. So to begin, we'll do a walk around of the controller first. And what we'll notice initially is on the right hand side, we have got two tethered sensors that are connected to two sensor ports. However, scrolling down, we can see that it will accept up to four sensors to be wired or tethered directly to the detector. The controller. Please note that the CXT controller has the capability of reading a total of 32 sensors. Therefore, we could have a combination of four sensors tethered or connected via cable directly to the controller and then an additional 28 wireless. On top of the detector, you're going to notice a strobe light and you will also notice on the top right hand side is an adapter for a antenna for your wireless sensors. If you're not using wireless sensors, you do not need the antenna installed. Moving down, you will see the controller and the display with the various options. Moving to the left hand side of the detector, you will notice first an external alarm port. Typically in an electrogas standalone, we will supply a MED-C horn and we would cable connect it to this port. Below that, you will find an optional reset button. This will help silent alarms in the event of a false alarm. And below that, we have a power supply input. This particular controller is right now attached to a non-classified general purpose area 110 VAC power supply. You can run an optional 24 volt explosion proof charger and solar panels as well. In addition to this, on the bottom of the controller, you will find the power switch and you will also find an internal beeper. And this completes the overview of the controller. Thank you very much.